Hey guys, uh, it is Saturday, June, July, I'm sorry, Saturday, June 22nd, Bitcoin's at 64,200, and um, this episode is about power law bans, and in, por- in particular, the one sigma, plus or minus one sigma band, and the plus or minus two sigma band uh, from the power law trend line, and so what what we've done in this in this uh, experiment, which I did with plan C, is um, I, first of all, I wanted to sort of estimate in percentage terms uh, what it meant to be off the power law by, you know, underneath the power law by 20% or over the power law by 50%. And so what, what I've done is I created this these bands, okay? And visually, this is sort of showing as follows of this graph. So the blue line here is the trend line for the power law. Now, what I did with the first green line here is I said, okay, let's find a, um, a line for which 16% of the data is below that line. So that's down here. And then the second line is, sorry, 16 is, yeah, 16%. And then the second line is, what line is um, only 2.5% uh, of the data? Now, where do I get these numbers from, 16 and 2.5? Well, if you multiply them by two, you get the 6895, uh, rule okay and this is a very simple rule but basically it's if you are if a normal distribution right what is the chance that you're within one sigma of the mean of the normal distribution well 68.27 percent what is the chance that you're within two sigma of the mean most 95 percent so if you're if you're Outside of this, you have an equal chance of being outside on the upside or outside on the downside. So you have, you can see here, you have 4.5% um, that has to be split between the upside and the downside. So you get 2.25%. Here you're going to get 68%, and you've got about um, 32% chance of deviating, and then that's about a 15.6% chance of deviating either on the upside or on the downside, right? And you can kind of see that in this chart here, right? So let's go back to these power law bands. And basically what we see is the, the power law says right now we're at, we should be at 66,688 today. We should be. And so we're almost, you know, we're almost exactly that. We're a little bit below that actually. We should be at 80,000 by the end of 2024. And we should be at uh, 112,900 by the end of 2025. That's the trend line, right? That's the original trend line. Now, this is the formula for the trend line in hourly uh, increments, right? It's in, in log space. It's negative 23.9 plus the power, which is 5.59, 5.6, let's say, times the log of, of time, right? Uh, now, it doesn't... this. Power doesn't depend on the units, whether it's hours, days, whatever. That only shows up in this uh, intercept here. Okay, and so basically the power law was moved in a parallel way to get to the 97th percentile, the 84th percentile on the upside, and then on the downside, the 15.8th percentile and the 2.27th percentile. Right, And so what we see here is you get to 48% of the power law on the downside. That's your sort of first downside limit, one standard deviation. You only have to go 0.39% of the power law to get to two standard deviations. So it doesn't, it, it doesn't, it, there's very little movement on the downside, right? So once you're half the trend line of power law, you don't go much below that. On the upside, however, you, go, you can go up twice the thing, but you also can get to the next 
level, the two sigma, you have to go up by 5.66. So it's even, it's very sort of skewed and sort of towards the upside. Now, if we go back to this uh, graph here, we can kind of see that, first of all, we see this model doesn't really model the tops. So it doesn't really connect the tops. And Plan C did a model where he actually connects the tops and puts its sort of regression on the tops, and that would argue for a less of a data. I'm not really, I don't really want to sort of say these tops are necessarily that indicative. Uh, you know, I, I like this approach better where we're just looking at sort of this overall amount of data. And notice that this uh, 2017 peak corresponds to exactly, you know, exactly this sort of uh, uh, 500 and 66% of uh, the trend line, right? So you're at 566% of this trend line here. So I think this is kind of your upper band, right? Now, could we might have a crazy time, like in 2013, where we exceeded that, right? We might go well below that, like we did in 2021, uh, right? Um, we don't know. There, there may be a pattern here with lower, lower tops. I don't know. But I think what it tells you is overall that the one sigma band is pretty consistent. So we have a, if somebody said, where are we going to go? Well, I'd say with a 68% probability, we're going to be somewhere between 54K and 228K by the end of next year. Now, we still have a decent shot, you know, 32% shot of exceeding that either the upside or the downside. And, you know, I'm bullish. I think that there's a seasonality pattern. So I think we're going to probably, we might exceed that to the upside. But it's very unlikely that we break 500K next next year. And I think we're actually not going to even break 300K next year. So that's just kind of my, my gut feel, the way I read this data. And it's unlikely to change, right? Because... The trend line only changes with time, so the trend line is not going to change very much um, in the next three months. So we can kind of look at this once, and then we can kind of forget about it. But this, anyway, it's a different way of uh, doing the analysis. I don't think anybody's quite done it this way uh, before. Uh, and anyways, that's my uh, little video. Follow Plan C. He's great. Um, and I, thanks for him for doing all the, the hard, heavy lifting here in Python with uh, Glassnode data. Thanks.